within two thousand years, Christ shall return, and when I return, I'm going to be king of kings. I'm king. Kenya ni kwetu means Kenya is our home. It's about an identity that we are reclaiming back our country from the poor who have been raping this country for the last 49 years. It's taking ownership to what belongs to us. It's citizen responsibility that if Kenya is your home, what are you going to do about it? So Kenya ni is about reclaiming back our country and claiming that it's our country and you're going to take ownership and you're going to be responsible citizens. So I don't want it for the others to bring change. I know it's me who's going to bring that change. Uh, by organizing citizens to do the right thing, by empowering citizens with the right information, so to enable, to enable them to vote positively and vote for the right leaders, by playing my own responsibility as a citizen in building a better Kenya. We are all Kenya equal to because Kenya belongs to all of us. 70.5% uh, of the population in this country is under 40 years old. That's our target. The young people, the future of the nation. We are going to have elections next year, so the movement is timely because for the first time, uh, the majority of the voters will be young people. So, yeah, it's relevant because this country suffers from lack of leadership. Uh, we have a crisis when it comes to political leadership. And so what we're trying to do is telling young Kenyans that the future of this country is in the hands of young people. That what happens in the next five years will be determined by the way you vote. And so it's not even a coincidence that it's happening around the time of the election because that's, it's been very, very deliberate. That the movement is, the movement awakening is around the time that people are about to vote so that they can claim back their country through their vote. Uh, we are going to do exhibitions in Nevasha talking about healing the country and reclaiming back our country as well. Uh, we are going to do exhibitions, we are going to do music concert, like a love concert. Uh, we are going to do graffiti again. We are going to do exhibitions of positive images in Kenyan streets. Uh, we are going to do billboards with love messages of this country. Uh, we are going to do many things that, that resonate with young people and that brings out that patriotism about their role as Kenyan citizens. So there are many more things planned, uh, but mostly we'll be using the art as our tool to talk about Kenya being our home. I've actually been thinking a lot about vying for elective office and there's a possibility that I'm going to vie in the coming elections. There are very strong possibilities that it, that is going to happen. And at the same time, uh, we want people to know who the right leader is and that's what we're trying to do right now. Uh, we talk about the vulture, and that's the bad leadership. And now there's another talk about the eagle, which represents good leadership. And once we talk about those things, and by the time the elections come, we hope there will be options on the ballot. And hopefully, if all goes well, I hope to be one of the options on the ballot box. Uh, there was a lot of incitement from our leaders. Uh, the leaders told us, oh, that tribe is bad, that community is bad, that community stole the elections, that community did that. Uh, so we fought because of our leaders. And my prayer is that five years later, Kenyans are now wiser than they were four years ago. And we can go to the ballot and we can vote with a, like a mature democracy. That even if I disagree with you, I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to vote you out. That even if I don't like your community, I'm not going to 
protest in the streets, I'm going to go to the ballot and let my voice be heard. And so, five years ago, there's a lot of misinformation, there's a lot of hate speech among our leaders. And five years later, we have seen what violence can do to our country. And we are hoping that we learn our lesson and we can change this country through the ballot. Uh, we are non-violent, and that's very deliberate, because violence does not help anyone. Uh, you, you can't get productivity or you can't grow a country through violence. Uh, you can't sustain democracy through violence. And that's why it's called dictatorship and other things. And so uh, the young people we have know very well that if you get what you want through violence, you have to use violence to sustain that. And so we can't use violence to make our voice be heard. The reason why we went to the streets and we went to the coffins, uh, we had one clear message no violence no insults let's tell them that you're going to bury them with our vote then you go back home uh, this country has seen a lot of violence and it has not grown so we won't stop the old ways and use the new way and the new way is peaceful revolution peaceful defiance that it's agree with you but i want to throw stones at you that's what we want to do so as much as some of us grew up people listen to malcolm x uh, we still think there's a martin given us uh, coffin, so it was symbolizing. Uh, you know what you don't like? Like if you have a very bad relationship or very bad past, you bury that past and you forget about it. And so I tell you guys, you need to bury the vultures. We represent bad leadership because we don't like them and we don't see them every day. And so our our soil for burying them is our vote. So we want to gather them during the next election. Say you did this. Go home and you threw the ballot at them. So we want to kick them out to the ballot. The vote is our power. That's actually our end goal, actually, is that we get a peaceful ballot revolution. Uh, we get the leaders that we want in power. And we'll be on the way to recovery as a country. Uh, because we are tired of voter leadership. Uh, we are angry. We are hungry. We are hurt by our leaders. And enough is enough. For how long are we going to be patient and watch them take advantage of us? I think it's time we get impatient. It's time to tell them the time is up. Uh, and don't kick them out of town with our vote. There's a lot of frustration, there's a lot of anger, and our goal is to turn that anger, that frustration, into a peaceful ballot revolution. And together, we can build a new country. And together, we can reclaim back our country, say, Kenya ni kwetu. Which means, whatever happens, there's no other Kenya, it's this one. We're not going to go anywhere. And you know what we are? We are Kenyan lovers. We love this country. And so, we're going to make love to Kenya with our vote and build the Kenya we want. Revolution.